Assalamu alaikum and hello everybody. Welcome back to my channel. Today I would like to give a tutorial how to calculate bad debt expenses using allowance method. This is the financial position of Lily Enterprise at as at 31st December 2018. So given the balance for account receivable and allowance for doubtful debts. So, this is the transaction that occurred during the year 2019 or the current year. And this is the transaction for transaction and this is the allowance method given 2% from account receivable. And you have to prepare general entry. You have to open account receivable along for doubtful debt, adjusted general entry and prepare financial position statement and you assume that we use to estimate bad debt using 2% of net sale and you have to calculate bad debt expenses prepare allowance for doubtful debts and adjusted general entry now we look at the question first firstly you have to record in the journal entry so sales on credit Debit account receivable and credit sales with the amount 250,000. The second transaction. Sales written by customers. Debit, sales written and credit account receivable. 4,200. And the third transaction. Cash received from customer. Debit cash, credit account receivable with amount of 172,500. The last one, bad debt written off or write out account receivable. Debit alone for doubtful debts because we use allowance method and credit account receivable 900. After you record all the transaction in the general entry, so we have to calculate bad debt expenses. The first step, you have to calculate the balance of account receivable. So, all the transactions that relate to account receivable, we must record in account receivable. Number one, the balance brought forward from last year. Given in the question, 42,600. And all the transactions that relate to account receivable, the first one, sales on credit. So, debit account receivable, 250,000. The second transaction credit account receivable 4200 the third transaction credit account receivable 172500 and the last transaction credit account receivable 900 after that we have to close account receivable we have to total the amount of debit side with the credit side and we have to calculate the balance carried forward for account receivable the amount is 115000 the second step you have to calculate the balance of allowance for doubtful debt the formula is percentage of allowance times the balance of account receivable so 2% times 115,000 and you will get 2,300. This is the balance carried forward of allowance for doubtful debts. So we have to open the allowance for doubtful debt. We must record all the transactions that relate to allowance for doubtful debt. Number one, balance brought forward given in the question 1,850. The second one, write off account receivable debit along for doubtful debt 900. And the third one, we substitute the amount that we have calculated 2300. And we have to close along for doubtful debt. Total debit must equal to the total credit. And the missing figure is bad debt expenses. So this is the missing figure. The third step, we have to 
make an adjustment for bad debt expenses at the end of the period. So debit bad debt expenses 1350 credit allowance for doubtful debts 1350 to record bad debt expenses. Now the, the, the next one we have to prepare financial position statements as track as at 31st December 2019. So, so we have to take the amount for account receivable 115,000 and the allowance for doubtful debt must record in the financial statement. So this is the answer for financial position statement for the current year. Account receivable taken from the account receivable balance carry forward less allow for doubtful debt you will get 112,700 this one we call net realizable value this is the amount of the accounts receivable that the business expect to collect in the future now we assume that if the company estimate bad debt using 2% of net credit sales we have to calculate bad debt expenses directly. The formula is percentage of allowance times sales credit sales credit less the sales return. So two hundred and fifty thousand less four thousand two hundred. Then you will get the bad debt expenses. So we have to make an adjustment in the allowance for doubtful debts. So balance given in the question and you must relate the transaction in the allowance for doubtful debts, debit 900 and we substitute the amount that we have calculated for bad debt expenses in the allowance for doubtful debt. And you can see this is the missing figure. This is the missing figure for allowance for doubtful debts under under percentage of net sales credit. Now we have to prepare the adjusted journal entry, debit, bad debt expenses, and credit allowance for bad debt. You get 4916. This is the this is the calculation for bad debt using net credit sales. And this one we use the estimation of bad debt using the percentage of account receivable. That's all for today. Don't forget to subscribe, like and share. And don't forget to watch my next video. Thank you.